mission, which would be providing a place for things to be diverted from the landfill. In the shadow of KU Medical Center sits an unassuming building with a unique mission of helping the homeless through the reduction of landfill waste. Today we take a look into Scraps KC. I started Scraps because um, I wanted to be able to help teachers get free and inexpensive materials. And we also had been serving the homeless on the streets and uh, one of them asked us for something to do during the day. And so we opened this as a way for them to have purposeful volunteer opportunities. At Scraps KC we sell a variety of things. We're like a thrift store but we only deal with crafting materials. So we sell arts and crafts supplies, we sell um, textiles, we also sell school and office supplies, and there's always something for everybody to create something new with. We always accept donations on days that we're open. Anybody can come in and shop here and get items for creative reuse, and they're usually 20 to 80% of retail value. So there are lots of ways the community can support the store. And one of those ways would be volunteering. We always need lots of hands here. We receive two to 5,000 pounds of supplies every week. So we are always yeah. in need of volunteers to help us process and package and price those materials and get them on the floor. We are always in need of jeans and this time of year hoodies, things that will keep our homeless safe and healthy on the street. The money that we receive from reselling the items at Scraps KC goes towards um, maintaining our building so that we can divert the materials that are housed in our warehouse and keep the environment cleaner. And then we also provide breakfast every Saturday on the streets for the homeless and anything that they might need that isn't donated here in the store, we can purchase for them. I manage our volunteers, I manage the store, and so um, day to day, check the emails, getting groups scheduled, helping our volunteers with different projects, and I also work with the team volunteers. To be a team volunteer, you'll want to fill out an application online. It's just an individual volunteer application, and uh, make sure you include what you're interested in doing if you're doing that for service hours. The team volunteer program runs the first three Saturdays of the month. Once you complete those first 15 hours on those first three Saturdays, you'll be able to schedule outside of those time constraints. Interacting with us on social media, we try and post a lot about what's going on, what we need. Um, when you go to our website, you can look at what donations we're accepting and uh, that will help us as we go through to not only stock the thrift store, but we also gather school supplies for teachers to give uh, for free. And then we also have a homeless outreach program. This has been Alex Beals reporting for The Axe.